Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. Uh, looks like we won the die roll against Matt Flacco right now. <sighs> this is a great hand. If we had one more land, we will mulligan. This is fine. Keep, uh... Drop the lead, I guess. We got a pretty strong thing without it. I like keeping the leads, but I'd rather keep everything else. We'll do it like this. We'll see what, up, what we're up against here. Uh, we'll go turn one blossoming. Pass. And see what they have to do. Uh-oh, we're going against red again. That's not pretty. Hmm. Well, that's not great. Let's get this down, see if we can ramp, but uh, this guy may die. <laughs> if it's burn, I'm surprised they didn't do anything. Oh, it's goblins? I think we can handle goblins. Alrighty. That's actually pretty good. So now we can drop two lords. Have a good defense. Beautiful. Now I just want to draw more creatures, please. Alright, gobbies. What you got for me? Ooh, wait. Artifact land. What are you doing in there? Is this scred? What is this? What are you doing? Uh, okay. Well, let's see what they play. This can't be scred. No, this isn't scred. I'm not playing a Snowlands. I'm Anamorphos. For what? Blue? Blue red? Tapping this one too? Okay. So is this just. Uh, what's his name? Uh, it's, it's slipping my mind. It's slipping my mind right now. Uh, but I don't know what they're on about. This is kind of it's kind of awkward. Bit of an awkward thing. That's nice. Uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Refill. Try to get a bunch of really good stuff. Make it impossible for them to come back, pretty much. Yeah, we'll throw down another lord. We'll attack in with one. Boink. Beautiful board we have. It's kind of important to get down lords early, especially if they're playing with artifacts, because they may start dropping those uh, big flying crazy dudes. Just a melody. Okay, so they're going to do goblins. Maybe this is just some kind of goblins build still. Uh, but they're in world of trouble. I mean, I'm just swinging out next turn with a lot. I'll just play the Ash Barons, throw down both my lords, and it's just GG. Play it. Play it. Play it. Six sixes coming at your face. Would you like to concede? Nope. All right, we're swinging. Chump lock, chump lock, take 12, go to 4. Sounds good to me. What a great hand. Let's get some more information. Tell us something about your deck. You got Metamorphos, we know this. But what else do you have? Show me more goblins, and I'll be a happy boy. Because goblins isn't going to be anything. Yeah, so this is just goblins. This is just goblins. And this isn't going to save you. So thank you for telling me more information. None of this is going to save you right now. Three mana? What are you going to do? Can you bring this back? 
Oh, oh, cool. Making lots of mana. That's cool. Get those tokens going. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, you only got five, though. Still got lethal. There's good attempts. Tap four, draw three cards. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, you're just telling me all the information I need to know about your deck, which is great. So we will go to sideboards. I like, don't want to change anything. Like, Electricry is great. Obviously, we'll bring that in. We'll, I think this is going to be too fast for Blade back. Cut it. Hunter, I don't think we'll need, honestly, either. So maybe we can bring one Blade back in. Electricry will just decimate them 100%. I don't even want to bring in Pyro Blast. Like, I don't care about their blue mana crap. Uh, I think we can just swarm the board really nicely, and we'll be all right. So popper goblins. All right, I can dig it. I can dig it. Going for that 20 win right now. See what we can do. Okay, uh, yeah, this is great. This is everything we want and more. Let's keep it. And we will go Blossom Sands into Gem Hide and just do the same stuff over and over again. So they can make a lot of tokens, but again, Electricry is just going to crush, crush them. So we'll set up our board. As soon as they combo off and make like 10 tokens, it'll be all over but the crying. Pass the turn. On to you, Flacco. Come on, MTGO. Let's do this. Work with me. Work with me. There's a mountain. We're gonna see an instigator. Oh, War Marshal. Okay. That's cool. So maybe there's a combo with that where they can kind of like go nuts with War Marshal. Could be a possibility. Winding Way is not bad either. Let's put down our Gem Hide. And we'll be able to drop two Lords next turn. Same thing as last time, basically. So you're going to Echo him. They are going to Echo him. Create more. Sounds good to me. What's your game plan? Let's see it. There's the artifact land. Did we see the combo with the artifact land last time? I'm not sure. All right, another War Marshal. Okay. They are setting up the board. I'm not worried about it. We're setting up ours, and then we're just going to electricry for the dub. Ooh, nice. Okay. Lord. Lord. And pass. Do we see the echo? We will see the echo. Create more goblin tokens. You get another great furnace. Draw three cards, sure. I 
We're gonna take some damage next turn. I may just play the lord out from the, the mana. Yeah, unless I get like another lord. I mean, we're definitely swinging in for six next turn. Or Marshall. Yep, I don't care about that. If that's all you got is a bunch of War Marshals, I'm not too worried. Passing? Maybe? Ash Barons, all right. We'll do Ash Barons and grab our, our red, I think, just in case. Um, yeah, we're just gonna swing in for a lot. Put that pressure on. Blocky, blocky. Take an eight. Sounds good to me. And do we do this now? I think we'll do this now. Grab our mountain. Play it. Can't play it yet. Oops. There we go. Ooh, getting lots of mana. All right. I think we're ready for the blowout turn here with Electricery. I hope they tap their blue. As long as they tap their blue, we don't have to worry about counter spells or anything like that. Not that I think they're playing with any, but they'll draw a bunch of cards. That's fine. We're going to slap this Electricery down and call it a day. Unless I can do something crazy. Show me something crazy. Okay. Making more. Keep making them. Lots of mana left. You got another one of these rebirths? You got eight cards in hand. All right, create two, sure. Keep going, I like it. So many cards in hand, this is awesome. 11 mana. Make all those gabos. I like these kind of decks. The, the only problem with this kind of deck is exactly this, Electric Ray. It can just take out your entire board, which is uh, pretty sucky. But they're comboing like crazy right now. Look at this combo, man. Eight. I, I'm glad we're seeing the combo, you know. Um, what can they do, though? Can Do they have a win con from just this turn right here by comboing off? I wonder. I guess we'll sh we shall see. They got seven mana left and 14 cards. Metamorphose. Draw more cards. Tapping their guys. They're going deep. Trying to think what their win con is. Is there like some kind of win con where they can just like sack the board and kill me somehow? That's like the only thing I can think of that they could do, but I'm really not sure. But they are cranking right now. There we go. There's more. Okay, okay. Keep her coming. Using the blue, maybe drawing more cards. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So that could be 
an issue because they could tap two things and maybe counter something, but like we haven't seen them play with any counter spells so far. So that could be uh, could be a potential blowout right there. Hopefully not. They're gonna have to discard the hand size at the end of the turn here unless they play everything out. I got 19 cards left. It's pretty cool. Just drawing their whole deck. Give him an awesome. Yep, another distant melody. That works, that works. And more, they got 19 mana. It's insane. They got three cards left in their library, though. Like, what is their game plan? I mean, I know they can just make a bajillion tokens for show, but I'm wondering if there's just that backup thing going. Fireball? They got Fireball. They draw into a Fireball? Yeah, that could be what we see. If they have a Fireball, that could be what we're seeing here. Right, that would kill us. Still adding tons of mana. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 45 mana. A bajillion creatures. Three more? <laughs> this is insane. I love it. I love it. I'm glad we're seeing it. Another mo Moog. Uh, so they will have a, a little bit of a chump blocker. More. More. This is crazy. <laughs> How many Metamorphos did they use? Two, three... So they used three Metamorphos so far. Because they're tapped out of blue, so unless they have another Metamorphos, they can't do any more card drawing. Creatures control get hastened on the turn. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, man. Well, that's, uh, that's going to be it. That's going to be it right there. Wow. Alright, they did it. They did the combo. Alright, cool. Good job. Uh, I still like how we have it. I still like it. Man, I was ready for that blowout, but they were able to crank it off. Good for them. Alright, so that's their win con. Give everything haste, plus one, plus one. Give everything haste, plus one, plus one. And then they did the deal damage to me as well. It wasn't with fireballs, with a different card. Uh, but still enough to do things. All right. This is a bit awkward, but I think we can keep it. It's a bit awkward, though. We're going to have to get red with our Ash Barons. Kind of hope for the best. Mm, 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 mm. So we might have been able to disrupt their combo if we had held up another mana for the electricery earlier. Um, but who's to say when they actually drew into those plus one plus ones, they could have played that at any point once we cast electricery and saved all their creatures anyways. So that in lies the problem. But we, there might have been a chance we could have disrupted it. Um, but we would have had to get lucky and they wouldn't have had to, uh, drawn that card. So. We'll get our mountain out of the deck here and just hope to draw into planes. We don't need it yet, but, you know. Passons, pretty good. Mountain. All right. I think we just want to go Lord here. Yeah, we're just going to go Lord. Get down some power first. We 
start off with the war marshal it's good it's kind of wanted to put down power first so i can make sure i can attack into this stuff all right sinew isn't the best but we can still go like this put down our striking start swinging at least So we won't let them get too far here. If they make a good amount of tokens next turn, uh, we may just want to electric them. Like if they make five of them or something, then pass, and they can't quite combo off, then uh, we may electric and just kill their board and try to swing in. Really love to be able to play the sinew next turn though. That would be that'd be nice. All right, so they're cranking a bit, so they can do a little bit here. Already doing the combo. That's where we got to be careful. If they pull into the right thing, they can just chain. So we'll see. Here we go. Two mana left. Distant Melody, hoping to draw into a mana morphos, something like that. There's a mana morphos. So hopefully they can't do too much this turn. Just make some more tokens I can hit with electricery, and that'd be fine. All right, they're gonna do that. Got one mana. If they pull into the right the card, they can put down that one uh, creature mana for each creature, which would be probably the worst thing because they can still chain if they do that. But if they can't pull it off, then we pass and we electricery. All right, cool, cool. I think we're good. Oh, oh no, do they have it? Dang. Oh no, Faithless Looting? Okay, all right, that's fine. That is fine. It's a bit sketchy. But they're passing, cool. Oh, we get a planes, that's nice. Um. Still got to do this now, I think, though. Um, no other way around it. I'd love to be able to get in for more damage, but... We're going to get in for 6. Put them to 14. I'm going to do this on my turn, too, so they can't necessarily combo off with anything and hopefully that does enough I mean I'm sure they can still make more but this should slow them down quite a bit I just don't want them to untap and then go off by tapping creatures and stuff so hopefully that's enough. I don't know. You know, we got one more electricery in the deck. I uh, don't really know how to break the combo on their turn like that, especially when they're drawn so much. So we shall see. So I'm going to create more. See, the combo's already starting. Last thing I wanted was that for them to go off, though, with their their creature cards this one the ritual one because then they'll have like 10 mana or something so we reduce the amount of man but mana they can counter off with counter combo off with and if we can do that maybe we can get lucky with them not pulling into what they need to and then we'll be all right but it looks like they're doing pretty good so far Okay, that's not too bad. Gives us another turn. First strike poisonous flanking. I mean, their guys can't stop our guys at all. 
uh, but they're kind of forced to chump block a little bit. Or are they just going to take? They're just going to take and go to two. Okay. I mean, it's uh, it's all or nothing for them here. We kind of have to go in. Uh, maybe they could, uh, you know, pop back, get us on the swing back here. They could potentially. Uh, but, and maybe that's showing signs that they are. But they got a war marshal, so it doesn't look like they are. Okay. If that's all they can do, that's not too bad. Okay, cool. Uh, let's cancel, and we'll do... Lead the Stampede first, I suppose. Muscle, gem hide Muscle. Cool. Any order. Then we'll play out our, our plated here. Flanking is coming in extra clutch for us right now against these 1-1s, one so that's for sure. They can do a lot of chump blocking, but we're just whittling down their board. And once again, we just have to hope they can't combo off for another turn. <laughs> They're kind of stuck on, on lands a little bit. Uh, it doesn't Not like they need a ton of lands to combo, but... Is what it is. Creating more. Alright, the game continues. Ooh. That's pretty gnarly. So I could play a Viverlint and just really put some pressure as far as not letting anything through. It sounds reasonable. I'm going to do that. Because then they just can't let anything through, basically. And not like they couldn't already anyways. We have lethal 100 times over. So I guess it didn't matter. They got to chump six things. They'll go to three goblins. All right, they were done. They had seen enough. Good game. Uh, a little sketchy at the end there. I was hoping, that, you know, I think that electricery, our turn, uh, did stop them enough. Because they did have that card that produced a lot of mana per creature goblin they had. So I think that might have just done it to stave them off their combo. So good game to our opponent. Thanks for playing. That was a cool deck. I like those uh, big token decks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you did. Leave a comment below if you want to see more Naya Slivers. And we will see you in the next video. Hey, 20 and 5. Look at that. <laughs>